chilling reality of the effects of improper road use. Illegal speed bumps, misuse of road facilities, vandalism, illegal parking, poorly placed or relocated utilities, billboards and all forms of road encroachment, just to name a few. These activities contribute to making road use stressful, inefficient and time-consuming. It costs taxpayers billions and results to loss of life through road accidents. A big proportion of the accidents we have is the pedestrians or cyclists. And so we have to have uh, infrastructure which is aligned to their needs. And hence we have to have these walkways uh, to make sure that uh, people do not cross the roads anyhow. The accidents that we are registering uh, every day are many. And the reason why that is happening is because of uh, the pedestrian being knocked. All uh, people that are doing roadside activities having uh, to be knocked down by vehicles. Road encroachment is basically when public land near roads is illegally used for private gain or activity. This can be by setting up billboards and shops, building houses and walls, or even parking cars and dumping of sand or garbage. To understand road encroachment, let us look at road reserves. There are different classes of roads in Kenya and each has its own standard of road reserve. A road reserve is land that has been left undeveloped by the roadside with the aim of using it for future development, for the sake of safety or for use in erecting road signs and road furniture. The major classes are A, B, C, D and E. Road reserves have a specific uh, uh, corridor width. For example, desirably, uh, our class A should uh, not have anything less than 60 meters of the road reserve. If you're talking of class B and class C, we're talking of uh, not less than 40 meters. Trading beside a highway is clearly road encroachment. Some of these roadside businesses have grown so big that entire pedestrian pathways are obstructed and the road shoulders cannot be used by motorists. Are traders and their customers aware of the dangers they face? And if so, what motivates them to ignore these hazards? <laughs> We appreciate they are making a living and uh, national highways authority together with the counties they can be able to formulate and work so that these people can actually be given some places to do the same business, not very far from the road, actually along the road, but off the road, off the road um, uh, reserve. And then ourselves as, a, as an authority, we can actually do access to those places. Remember that when we encroach on roads, a lot of money has to be spent reclaiming the land, rehabilitating or restoring it. Not only that, road encroachment delays beneficial infrastructure projects and is a threat to public safety. Did you know that your favorite roadside car wash may not only be encroaching on road reserves, but it may also damage the road furniture and drainage facilities? Road furniture is any signage or additional roadside features by or on the road. They include markers, signs, traffic lights, benches, drains and so much more. Kenyans are renowned all over Africa for our entrepreneurial spirit. However, this stiff competition can sometimes drive Kenyans off the straight and narrow. We see billboards and banners and all sorts of marketing materials displayed in ways that are unsafe for road users 
or simply an eyesore. Uh, the guiding law uh, on the use of uh, the loads is the Traffic Act, Cap 403, and the relevant section is Section 91, which prohibit any encroachment on the road reserve. So, any structure on the road reserve, including billboards, uh, can only be installed on the road on approval. Indeed, one doesn't have to go too far before one can find a road reserve bursting with billboards and signboards. In some cases, road encroachment may be a symptom of an even bigger problem. Poorly placed or relocated utilities and encroachment on areas set aside for these utilities. These could be water pipes, cell towers, electric poles and other such facilities. There is another damaging habit that we all see on a day-to-day -day basis. It is especially common with public transport vehicles and freight trucks. Parking on the curb. This misuse of road furniture is especially harmful. We see crumbling sidewalks and flattened posts as a result. It also blocks pedestrians. Pedestrians can also pose a threat to road safety. Crossing roads at undesignated areas, forming roadside meetings and ignoring foot bridges and pedestrian walkways are all forms of road misuse. It is of paramount importance that all pedestrians should cross the road at designated crossings and use foot bridges and walkways in the appropriate manner. After all, when a car and a human collide, the car always wins. The road subsizes and uh, the surveys as they are, even if a road has not been put in that particular place, and it has been designed and been surveyed for a road, then uh, it's important to keep off uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the road sites that have been left for expansion. Have you seen crosses drawn in red or yellow paint on some buildings by the road? Many of these structures are marked for possible demolition. Even though the buildings are of economic importance, adjacent positioning of roadside developments and utility features is dangerous to road users. This can be quite a catch-22 situation. On one hand, there is heavy investment and the potential to make money. On the other hand, there is road safety to consider. That mound in the middle of the road is an illegally erected bump an unsafe situation for motorists and for pedestrians alike. All over the nation, there are areas where the local residents erect bumps and put up various obstructions to slow vehicles. Why is this a recurring problem? previously for the last two years or so, it would seem that these unlawful bumps are put up in good faith. Still, these bumps do not conform to the standards that have been set by the government. Did you know that all bumps in the country will soon be the same size? The government has ordered all bumps to be reconstructed to conform to safety standards. Not only that, rumble strips will be reconstructed too. The East African uh, standardized bump is, has a height of uh, four inches, that is 100 millimeters, uh, meaning it then it should then be spread over six, 6.5 meters and then before it, as I said, is supposed to be accompanied by two sets of labor strips, with the first one being two and then followed by four labor strips. And the labor strips themselves are uh, 15 millimeters uh, shy of the the road service. Do you know all the road safety rules? Fear not, 
the government and Kenha are working tirelessly to educate you on everything you need to know about keeping to the straight and narrow. There are public barazas where you can interact with officials, you can engage your county representatives and you can reach a relevant official through Kenha and other agencies. Kenha has also undertaken to brand, maintain and monitor all road networks on a regular basis. We are all encouraged to keep an eye out for road and road asset misusers and report them promptly. Road reserve is not the only place you can do business. There are so many places you can do business. In fact, across, just along the road reserve, there are so many empty places where they can be able to, to hire and do business where they are sure they are not, it's not going to be affected. It's, they are not going to be affected in the future. Because these disruptions of people uh, where they are working here and then all of a sudden they are disrupted, it's not, it's not helping anybody. It's not helping them. It's not helping the country. So our appeal to them is that uh, let them look for good places where they can start their own businesses and they still make resources and they can be able to prosper. They don't have to be on the road. All the development which uh, take place on land along the roads or uh, adjacent to the roads should be controlled, taking all the aspects of safety and uh, future development into account. The hassle is real. However, all of us as Kenyans have a responsibility to walk the straight and narrow in proper road use. That is the long and short of it. With proper road usage, we can all have a more positive experience of road use and have a better outlook for the future. Good infrastructure is, after all, the backbone of a growing economy. <laughs>